<laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's Ray Jarrell. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys a couple setups that's going to beat every single coverage in Madden 23. So, if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So, I am in the Panthers offensive playbook. Again, I'm in the Panthers offensive playbook. Now, the formation we're taking a look at is bunch wide flex, but please know this is found in other uh, playbooks. So just make sure you check your playbook if it's in it and in the description. I may put a couple additional playbooks it's in, but for a fact, of course, it's in the Panthers playbook. Now, if you like this formation or if you just want to take a look at whatever ebooks I have available, please make sure you check out my website, allthingsmadden.com, and go to the ebook section. Now, uh, Goaded Mills also has an ebook on the website as well. And also, I did drop a next gen defense not next gen defense a next gen um offensive ebook so basically i put gun box really like that formation so check it out if you haven't already and i did do a youtube video on this so check it out in my offensive playlist but without further ado man um i appreciate you guys being here and we're gonna kind of get this thing rolling so uh personnel it doesn't really matter too much we'll talk about it once we get there but the play that we're gonna look at inside of this bunch wide flex is gonna be dagger now i know you guys have seen this play before you guys have seen um people run it against you but I want to give a couple setups you probably haven't seen before, a couple setups I really love. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off in dollar because it is still um, the meta defense. And I'm going to talk about all the coverages. So cover two, cover four, you know, uh, cover three and man coverage, of course. And I'm going to show you how it looks versus match coverage as well. So we're going to go to cover three spot. Now, when you run this, it's helpful. Well, it's ideal when you're running this particular play. You want to run it to where your three receivers or to the short side of the field. So that's why we do have our bunch to the weak side. Now, since this is a bunch style formation, there are plays where you're going to want your bunch to the wide side. So this is just adding more variety to you if you like to run bunch wide flex. Really good formation, though. Um, really, really good. It's just um, you have to be able to know how to deal with the blitz if you're going to use this formation. But anyways, uh, what I want to get off is the setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to take square, put them on a streak. Um, of course, it's not going to show. Actually, I'm just going to snap this ball and just throw it out because I, I, I like showing, I like you guys seeing the actual setups instead of just me having to explain, you know, the little glitch in practice mode. But we're going to take square, put him on a streak. We're going to take R1. We're going to put him on a, um, geez, I can't think right now. We're going to take him, put him on a hitch. I don't know why I couldn't think of a hitch route. But uh, lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to take X right here. We're going to motion him across. And you want to snap it right when he passes that tackle so it's going to be about right there what's going to happen is we're going to have triangle and we're going to have circle and we could potentially have our hitch depending on what our opponent is doing with their user now why do i like this play so i like this play because even if they blitz we're going to have a quick read and the reason why i say that is because almost 10 out of 10 times if your opponent is going to blitz they're going to try to grab on your alignment and what's going to happen is they're going to take their user and they're going to go straight this way they're going to go straight over here why because there's two people running their routes um so they're gonna kind of try to you know get a pick right here so what i like that's why i like to put this hitch right here because just about every single coverage in the game this is going to be open against and the only reason why is because of this route right here so they're going to auto kind of um you know go out there and play that as far as the uh, flat routes like your outside zones and the only thing that guards this is a vertical hook so cover two is the only thing you have to be wary of where this isn't open but everything else you're going to be absolutely fine but as you can kind of tell we're going to have a three-way read right here so we're going to have an option one our second read and then our third read is across the middle now if they play other style of coverages maybe they zone drop or whatever the case might be you actually can throw this on the sideline so that's why i like having this and sometimes you can still throw this ball even now sometimes it just literally all depends on if your opponent's clicking on who they're using who that guy is who this guy is so that's where that starts to matter at so again I i'm gonna show you real quick i'm gonna spy that guy out there just so i can have time but quickly i just want to show you um exactly what i was talking about because you can throw it um you won't be able to throw it all the time but it's worth looking at if that makes sense so if you drift that way uh what happens is you get a nice little dot on the sideline and it, they have to pretty much put a hard flat to guard that and uh most of the time your opponent's not going to want to play a hard flat so cover two um now i don't like this versus cover two i'm just kind of telling you how it is uh but you definitely still can't have reads available and again don't mind the setup i gave you guys a setup so um 
just know that it's looking funky and that's why so anyways uh circle you can have them right off the break of course you've seen that we could have um I got depression acre, but I wanted more so to buy and extend the time just to show you basically what I like. If I call this, so I wouldn't call this versus cover two, but if they happen to run cover two, this is what it looks like. So this is how they'll play it basically is what I'm trying to explain. Now, versus cover two, you will always have this open. So if your user is on this side, you can have this all day and night. So there are still reads available for cover two. You just have to be really smart with the ball. So what I mean by that is, if your user is right here, you cannot get baited. You cannot get baited to throw this because I can't tell you how many times you're going to throw a pick for a user acting like they're guarding this and they're going to flash back and actually get this little gap right here. So you have to be really, really patient. A lot of times this guy is going to be who you're going to throw the ball to because users are going to want to attack this aggressively and a lot of times you can dump this off. Now, if the user is on this side and then you would want to take this right here. But if the user is guarding him, you need to throw this ball right off the break. Every single time, throw it out the break. So if you see the user on this side, come over here, throw it out the break. If you see the user on this side, go ahead and check it down right here. Now, depending on if they're zone dropping or not, like I said, you can still have this. It's just a lot scarier to throw versus cover two. So uh, I'm gonna show you cover two again. And then I'm gonna press, um, hopefully I get a double team, a good a double team animation, because I am gonna try to double team this end out here. Um, we'll see if they actually double team him though. Sometimes double team does work on this game. I hate it, but it is the way it is. Um, you can tell right there, he definitely just did not. But you, you can have a chance to throw it, but um, that's why I spot people just in case you guys are wondering. But I don't want this video to go on too much longer, but just know um, you definitely can now. Cover four drop is gonna be the next uh, defense I wanna kinda show you against. We'll press two. And I just want to show you that you can still throw that little out route. Now, the reads are still going to be the same versus uh, cover four drop as they are versus cover three. Um, but I just want to show you that you can actually throw this out here. If you're able to drift, you can throw that. Uh, just notice how we have a great sideline dot. So that's all I wanted to show you on that. Um, but I will go back and show you just in case you were curious that you can still throw this right here. This is still going to be open. You just have to lowball this. Please don't throw it normal or you take a chance of them clicking on and picking that and also you can have this throw right here anytime that you want it and of course right here um the hook zone is going to do a better job oh that's actually a spy my bad that's not a hook zone oh um, that's a spy and the only reason the spy is there because i drifted this way in the pocket but if there was no spy we could throw that right out the jump so just wanted to take the time with that now man coverage uh please don't run this versus man now if you want a good man cover setup there are, there's a couple things you can do um first and foremost what you can do is uh, I like to just take square, get him out the way. Unless you have an athletic tight end. Um, actually, I, I actually just want to throw this ball away because I, I don't want to. Uh, I like I like you guys seeing if I'm gonna do a new setup instead of just you know coming on here and just showing you. I I'd rather you see it. So we'll go back to man coverage here. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, kind of press our defense right there. Now I'm gonna spy these two just so I can have a little bit of time. But uh, I like taking square, just getting them out the way on the streak, and I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to take R1, put them on a slant, and this is one of the most basic setups in the game. We're square on a streak, R1 on a slant, but it's one of the most effective, if that makes sense, because we're going to read the slant to crosser concept, and then we're going to read circle as like a late, late read. So it's a simple but effective setup, which is one of my favorite things to do on this game. Simple but effective, okay? So again, um, it's just basically you're going to have the slant first. And then you want to come back and read this between these two routes. It all depends on who wins. Now, right here, Jira just bagged him, of course. But uh, we had a great matchup right here because we have three man-beating routes on the field. So somebody just has to win their matchup. Okay, we have to we have to find out. We have to find the person that's going to win their matchup. Now, um, to kind of wrap things up, I just want to show you how it fares versus match coverage. And if you like me doing these 10-minute style videos where I show you like one or two setups for. Uh, formations please let me know by liking and dropping a comment because at this point I'm trying to figure out what you guys like the most so I can start giving you content based on that and don't worry my current gen people if you're still here um, I'm still planning on doing current gen content um, I just doing next gen because current gen seem like it's really dying out um, seem like y'all aren't interested in but we're gonna talk about cover four quarters cover four palms and what I'm gonna do is come out and cover six because that's gonna cover pretty much all the match coverage that you'll ever see you'll hardly ever see cover nine and if you do it's literally the same thing as cover six just flipped if that makes sense it's literally the same thing but um anyways uh, I want to show you this right here. so cover six now what I'm gonna do is spy these two and I'm only spying them because all mad practice mode sheds are crazy but square on the street, R1 on the hitch is going to be uh, the best setup to kill every single match coverage. And I'll show you why. So X is going to get open. Um, not X, excuse me, I didn't mean to say X. But circle, 
poor accuracy. But anyways, I'll show you what I was talking about in the replay because I hate when I can't get my words together. But uh, R1, this hitch is always going to be open versus match coverage. Uh, there's only one match that actually plays it well, and I believe it's Palms. But anyways, if they run cover six, um, normally they're going to be on the three wreck, which in this case, our three wreck looks like it's this guy right here. So normally what's going to happen here is if he's on three wreck, normally the user right here is going to come down and play this normally. Now, when they do that, we're going to have this gaping hole that's right here in the middle. So versus cover six, if you're, if you see your opponent running cover six, what you need to do is read between this hitch and this in route, and it's going to work every single time. Now your opponent's almost never going to use her a safety in match coverage. It just doesn't happen. Um, the only other thing they'll try to use her is a defense alignment. And if they do that, just be patient in the pocket and still make your reads. Uh, and more likely, if, if they are using a D lineman, you could just throw this ball right here on the sideline because they'll never make it, if that makes sense. Now, cover six is the only one. Um, so if they play like a, because it's a soft squat over here, and swap, soft squats are going to sit on this route perfectly. They're the only ones that do that. Um, and also, last thing I want to talk about this play is don't mind them. These two are spies, but you'll also have him wide open. So versus cover six, your opponent screwed because he's going to have him. We're going to have him, and then we also have him way late. So it's the same read progression. Now, the last two coverages I'm going to show you is cover for quarters. Then I'm going to show you cover for palms, and that's going to be the video. So, again, well, I'm, I'm going to try to just spy one and just see. But uh, we'll go ahead and press, too, because most of the time when you run match, when they, when your opponent's running match, they're going to press most of the time. So I just want to show you real quick that X can get open versus match coverage. Um, anything other than cover six. So look at X. I'm not going to throw it, but look at him. Then look at triangle. And then... um. Look at how circle was uh, open as well in that little gap. But we'll break it down real quick in the replay. Not break it down, but just go go through and just show you all the reprogression. So you always want to drift in the pocket if you can. And as you can tell, that's going to be wide open. You can have that all day and night. Now the hitch, like I told you, is going to be open. Now, um, unfortunately, the three rec does play this well. But normally, this is going to be your user in normal circumstances, which means that normally they're going to kind of just play this middle. They're going to try to maybe flash right here and then flash back up top. That's normally how it works. So that's why I tell you, if they play match coverage, go ahead and drift out the pocket and hit this throw until they get tired of it. Until they're just they're just sick of it. That's what you're going to have to do to, um, to make them have to respect it. So last cover I want to show you is cover for palms. And I just want to show you the difference in how they cover it. Um, and then after that, that's going to wrap it up for this video. So again, if you like these quicker style videos, please let me know. If you'd rather me show you more setups and get more in depth, please let me know. And that's also why I have an ebook as well. So that way, you know, I can take the time to actually go into detail about every single setup, every single read. Instead of kind of just doing you one setup, I do, you know, normally a minimum of 10. I normally a minimum of 10 setups in my ebooks. So anyways, um, right here, don't mind this. This is a spy right here. Um, him right here, he's a spy. So versus cover four palms or cover four quarters, you will always have this throw unless they put a spy, obviously. But you'll always have him. You'll always have him right here. You just need to, if you want to throw this, you need to low ball it right now. If you wait, you'll throw a pick. Uh, if they have acrobat, you'll throw a pick. But uh, the same the scenario exists here. So as soon as he commits down, you want to throw this ball right about now to where they'll throw it about right here. And you get a nice little possession catch. But as well, you can tell we have him wide open on the sideline. But anyways, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video, though. I do hope you have a blessed day. I'm Rage Row, and I'm out.